Now, I learned about possibility thinking very early in my life. Now, possibility thinking, as I see it, means for all of us in this room, our lives and our work are ultimately defined by what we choose to dwell on, what we focus on. We can focus in on acceptable outcomes, acceptable results, or we can focus in on exceptional outcomes and exceptional results. Part of the human experience is all of us are going to face challenges. But if we are going to be committed to exceptionalism, I think it's important that we embrace challenges as inevitable. They're going to happen, but defeat is optional. I mean, you have challenges, tight time schedules, manpower issues, unexpected hazards. That's going to happen. I am convinced that how we respond to those challenges is the difference between exceptional and acceptable. I can remember as a young boy, I couldn't find the courage to take my hands out of my pockets. I tried wearing a pair of artificial hands. And they were perfect. Everything I had dreamed of, i got to be honest. I don't know what people do with ten fingers. I was poking myself in the eye and everything. Seems like a waste to me. But I removed those hands. I never put them on again. But I struggled taking my hands out of my pockets. Until I had a teacher say these words. Roger Crawford, you'll never reach higher with your hands in your pockets. I was so inspired, I got involved in track and field. And I learned how to throw the javelin. Well, I got to admit to all of you, when I threw the javelin, I didn't set many records, but I'll tell you this, I certainly kept the crowd alert. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin today by thinking, how can we better our best? How can we reach a little higher? Because we've heard with absolute clarity that safety, number one priority, absolutely important in caring for people, in caring for one another. That is worth, once you agree, reaching a little higher. Two years ago, I wrote a book called How High Can You Bounce? The book did fairly well until I spoke of the National Skydiving Association. <laughs> didn't seem to like that title very much. And clearly, the book How High Can You Bounce was not about safety. But it was about exceptional. And when I interviewed individuals and organizations who had reached a level of exceptionalism in safety, quality, in production, they started to tell me a little bit about their work and about some of the principles that they practice. That's where these three questions came from, an experience that I had. And as I listened to their stories, I thought that these questions were very relevant to their experience. Where are you coming from? Now, if we are committed to being exceptional, certainly we cannot live in the past. But I think all of us would agree that we can learn from the past. I mean, Rod spelled that out very, very well today as we looked back and then we looked forward. Steve talked about that as he looked at some of the campaigns that they've had in the past. The good news about looking into our past, it gives us wisdom. I looked up wisdom in the dictionary. I was really struck by what it said. It said, wisdom is experience and reflection. And I thought, wow, that tells me that just living our lives doesn't necessarily give us wisdom. In other words, it's not automatic. Wisdom is intentional. It's going back and evaluating life experience and learning from life experience that gives us wisdom. So here's what I'd like you to think about today. What experiences in your past can you draw upon today to fuel your exceptionalism? Because once you agree with this, if you look at your past, you realize, you know, the better that I chose to think, the better results I got. I like to say it this way. My friends, we choose what we mentally DVR. We choose what we mentally DVR. Where are you coming from? 
exceptional organizations and individuals are always learning from their past. They don't live in the past, but they learn from their past. They gain wisdom from their experience. How long have you been there? Over the past few years, I've had several audience members say to me, you know, I'll be a lot more positive when things get back to normal. Exceptional organizations say, you know what, we're not going back to normal. Exceptional organizations go forward to normal. They realize one of the greatest risks that they have to exceptional safety, exceptional quality or production is standing still. Look into your past five years ago at what was considered a good safety procedure. What was considered good five years ago? Now look at today. Would you agree in many ways what was considered good back then is average? That's how quickly the world changes. We're not going back to normal. Normal's ahead of us, not behind us. Because if we ask that question, we never let acceptable get in the way of exceptional.